Hi everyone, how are you today? So for today's video, I'm going to talk about how I go about making this council table. It's a little DIY project that I did. Um, so I was actually looking for a council table for behind my sofa and for the measurement and the height, I wasn't really able to find anything. Um, I just wanted something very simple and I didn't want to put down a couple hundred dollars for something that was you know, just a, a tabletop and four legs. So I was looking around the house to see if you know I could use anything that I could make the table with. And uh, luckily, I had a, a plywood, like a hardwood plywood board that was lying around. So, giving the measurement that I was looking for, uh, I was able to use that board to cut down and to make the table with. And for the table legs, um, I actually ordered the hairpin table legs from Amazon. The first one I ordered the 34 inch was too high. So I wind up getting the 32 inches and with the tabletop and the 32 inches, it worked out just perfectly for behind my sofa. Um, for the project, I actually used, it was, took me two weekends um, to complete the project from beginning to end. Um, given that, you know, I wasn't really able to work on it during the weekday. Uh, I think if you do have the right tools, um, it should just be able to take you a one full weekend to, to complete the job from cutting, sanding, gluing it, uh, painting and letting it dry. Um, so it's a relatively easy project, um, you know, if you do want it to DIY this project. So hopefully you find this useful. Um, I'll be walking over you know, the process from beginning to end. So if you do like this video, if you find this helpful, please give a thumbs up. And hopefully this is helpful in your own DIY project. So this is the final table and I had two IKEA folding stool that was just the perfect height to use for the table. And as you can see, it looks great behind the sofa. So I wanted to start measuring just to make sure the measurements. And my table was 14 by 54 inches. So I wanted to do a double layer and I measured two layers. So I used a jigsaw and this was the first time I was using it and it came out okay but just to make sure you use safety glasses and not wear any loose clothing. Um, so here I am just cutting it. So after I cut it, I sand it with my sander uh, that was uh, 80 grits, just sanding on the edges to smooth it out and on the top um, getting ready and you know all the sharp edges to make sure as you can see here was a little uneven so I just kind of even the edge out. So I glue the two pieces together using glue and I put weights on it and clamp to clamp it together overnight so that the glue can do what it needs to do. And originally I was going to use contact paper to cover the tables up, but I think I'm going to use this trimming that I got from Home Depot and put it along the edges to cover the side. So I'm going to glue it down a little more and then use a staple gun to hold it, hold the trimming in place and then just use some wood filler and hope that works. So I'm just going to apply some glue on the edge and making sure it's, you know, evenly spread out so that I could put the trimming on it. After I glued it down, I used a nail gun to hold it in place. Mm -hmm. So this is a staple gun and the nail gun. Mm -hmm. 
So after that, I put wood filler to fill in the gap between the table and the border. Um, so just kind of using my finger and really squeezing in the wood filler and even it out. So I fill the edge with the wood filler. So I'm just going to sand it to make it a little bit more smooth with the medium sandpaper and then with the, the fine one to, you know, finish it on the top. So I'm going to be putting on these legs and they are screws here which I already marked to the bottom of the, uh, the table. So I'm going to be drilling holes in there and put the screwdriver on once the holes are drilled. So where I marked it, so I just wanted to be able to, I'm a little shaky, kind of drill it straight down. Um, it's pretty sturdy it seems but we did have to get smaller shorter screws because it was actually the screws that came with it it was too long it was actually poking through the, the on the other side and I actually had to patch it up so I'm just going to be drilling in I got this uh, wood stain a while back. I just didn't get a chance to use it. It's in the pecan, golden pecan color. So I'm going to try it on to see how this, uh, the color is. So I already, see, I'll find sand the top, so it feels pretty good. Wiped it down. So I am going to start doing the staining. So hopefully, this will work. I mean, this one says dries in one hour and I could just do one coat. And this is just a regular brush. This is nice color. stained it and it's been over an hour so I'm going to it's dry now so I'm going to spray it with um, this polyurethane to protect it and hopefully it will that would be it So that was the process that, you know, took me from beginning to end to complete this project. And I was actually very proud of uh, how it turned out. And as you can see, I used some electric power tools. And as long as you take safety precautions like wearing goggles and don't wear anything loose while you're using it, um, they were really relatively easy to use and safe. So uh, I hope you find this video useful and helpful and you know and also inspirational to kind of look for things around your house that you could you know use, upcycle, reuse, um, 
So, you know, hopefully, you know, I could use this table for a, for a long time. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and definitely share and subscribe. Uh, also, you know, comment down below if there's any DIY projects that you have done in the past or or if you wanted to see um, in my future video what kind of DIY projects that, you know, that would be might be of interest to you, um, please let me know. So hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Take care everyone. So as you can see that was the process. Is he in the camera shot? Yeah. <laughs> Max? Max, can you please? You were in the way. So as you can see, that was the process, um, you know, that I, I did over the course of two weeks. And...